Hello all. I want to come up here and talk about the S.H.I.E.L.D. reunion that took place tonight on Monday Night Raw. And listen, I don't want to be that wrestling fan, that guy that comes up here and takes away your enjoyment. If you thought this reunion was the greatest return, the greatest reunion in WWE history. All power to you. Love it. Enjoy it. And I hope you enjoy what comes at TLC. But I gotta be honest. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just my high expectations for wrestling. Maybe it's the fact that I grew up in the Attitude Era. And my time is slowly but surely coming to an end when it comes to WWE or wrestling in general. But I expect it more. And honestly, when I look at the crowd reactions, when I saw how the crowd reacted to Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, and Seth Rollins coming back together, I don't know. It just made me feel like it didn't give me the punch that I was expecting. Now look, I liked the SHIELD reunion. I thought it was cool seeing them come out and attack Miz and the bar like the old school SHIELD did, even when they attacked Braun Strowman. I liked it. It was cool because I like the SHIELD. I've always been a fan of the SHIELD and that will not change. With that said, I didn't love it. I didn't go crazy for it. And when I say crazy, I'm talking about Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, crazy. When those two would come out, the crowd would jump out of their seats. Oh my God, it's The Rock, it's Austin. It would go all the way up to the rafters. You wouldn't see a single person sitting down. It created magic. And I don't know, in this era of wrestling, PG era, whatnot, if we can create that. No, we can't. It's happened. Fans are able to still feel that way about wrestling if you give them a reason to do it. The problem is WWE is struggling to create that because of their lack of storytelling. The ability to tell a story is severely lacking in WWE. And I think it had a hard, hard effect on the Shield return. And I'm going to explain why. Because, uh, I don't know. I don't want to be the guy that says this was not as good as I was hoping. But I, I got to explain. Again, if you liked it, great. I'm happy for you, man. And I hope their match at TLC is great. But let's just talk about this. Let's just talk about the S.H.I.E.L.D. reunion. Because we, we started off with the Mizzies. And I get the concept of the Mizzies is supposed to be... Uh, playing into the Miz's ego. It's a part of his character. He believes uh, he's this big Hollywood superstar that deserves his own award show, which he calls the Mizzies. My thing is, it feels so set up, and it feels so... What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. The way they're doing it, does it really feel like it's something we're supposed to hate? I think about back in the day when someone would do something like this with Jim Ross in commentary. Jim Ross would absolutely destroy it. Get this guy out of here. Why are we sitting through this? We're here to watch wrestling, not to see you play up your ego. You know what I'm saying? Of course, Jerry the King Lawler would be for it because he's the heel commentator. Commentators didn't bash it. They were going along with it. They were clapping, they were saying it's great, it's entertainment and stuff. I'm just like, oh my god, you're idiots. At least if you're going to do something like this, do it in a way that's getting the Miz heat. And not boring your audience. I felt like the Miz's portion of this was boring. I didn't hate the Miz, I didn't even want to see him get his butt kicked. I was just like, what else is happening right now? Maybe you want to change the channel. So that's not good. So anyways, Miz goes out there, the bar comes out, uh, and then we see Roman Reigns go out there. And then all of a sudden, they start talking about, oh my god, did you hear the rumors of the S.H.I.E.L.D. returning? 
it's all fake. And then Roman says, who said it was fake? And then Ambrose and Ross just walked out there. And I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Mr. Roman Reigns, Mr. One versus All, which was his character. I don't need anybody. It's all about me. One of the most intriguing parts of his character. All of a sudden, okay. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to reunite with the shield. Because I'm thinking to myself, wait. Wait a minute. You're telling me that Roman Reigns can't take on Miz, Cesaro, and Sheamus by himself? Well, he got beat up by them last week. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he would have come out somehow, some way, and just taken them all on. I've seen Roman Reigns just clear an entire ring before. He did it when he was in the Shield. So, I don't really feel like they created a, a scenario where Roman Reigns needed Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. And therefore, when you don't create that scenario, fans don't want it to happen. Fans aren't... Oh, come on. Come on. We, we got to have Ambrose and Rollins to help out Roman Reigns. These, this big, uh, this evil, this unstoppable stable, Miz, Cesaro, Sheamus, uh, Roman Reigns can't beat them unless they have Ambrose and Rollins. And I don't think they created that. I kind of feel like Roman Reigns could take on all three of them by himself. He just has Rollins and Ambrose because he just wants them there. Now, if they would have done Braun Strowman, Miz, Cesaro, and Sheamus, all four of them teaming up on Roman Reigns because they all have this uh, similar agenda uh, that they hate Roman Reigns, they feel like he gets all the attention, they feel like he gets everything, uh, nobody likes Roman Reigns, and they all just want him dead, or they want him gone, I won't say dead, they want to see him beaten up, and they want to just take him out, okay, then... You have a scenario where it's kind of like, okay, Rollins and Ambrose, here they come. We have to have these guys here, otherwise Roman Reigns won't be able to beat them. Or at least create the idea that Roman Reigns, and this is where storytelling comes in. Roman Reigns is a guy that thinks he can handle things by himself. Create a story where Roman Reigns feels like, okay, I actually hit a wall. I, I gotta have help. Or be stubborn, extremely stubborn to the point that Ambrose and Rollins... As friends come and tell him, dude, you need our help. You've got to have us here. And Roman's like, no, I don't. I don't need you. I never needed you. One versus all. And then Roman Reigns goes out there, gets his butt kicked so many times that Ambrose and Rollins finally come in. And then Roman actually shows some human qualities, breaks down and goes, fine. I need your help. No, we didn't do that. What happened was the Shield came back together. They beat up Miz in the bar. And then they beat up Braun Strowman. So that's how you create the four on three. It's it's actually the more you think about it, it kind of blurs the line a little bit because it doesn't really make them baby faces. I mean, they are the baby faces. They have to be because that's how it works. But it's making fans really confused on okay, who should I cheer for? Or you're making the fans decide who they're cheering for. You're not creating a story where they should or want to cheer for the Shield. You're creating a story where it's just like, okay, it's Braun Strowman, who fans love, who honestly, if you ask me, is the most over baby face in the company, teaming up with Miz, who is a pseudo face. He's a heel, but people like him. Cesaro and Sheamus, and they're taking on the Shield. So, whatever. Story's out of whack. I do like that they added Braun Strowman to the match, though. I think that's really cool. I do feel like it would have been a lot more special if Braun Strowman beat Brock Lesnar. Then you would have had a really big main event on your hands. And at the end of the day, what really gets me, again, being a smart wrestling fan that knows probably too much than he should, this all just feels like a ploy. A big, flat, a big, fat, big, flat, Fat. I sound like Cesaro. <laughs> Sorry, that's messed up. Or Jack Swagger. It feels like a big fat ploy to make fans like Roman Reigns. That's all it is. That's all it is. And I hope WWE realizes it's not going to work. When the shield breaks up, fans will still like Ambrose. Fans will still like Rollins. That depends on if they're still faces or heels. No, they're still pretty much still like them. But they're not going to like Roman Reigns. So unless you want to keep them together until WrestleMania, which is way too long, that should not happen.
This is a nostalgia act. It's a nostalgia act, and it should stay that way. But unless you plan on keeping them together, this isn't going to help Reigns. But, with that said, if you're only doing this for the sake of nostalgia, and just to get fans in seats, because nobody's coming to these shows anymore, if it's just something to get fans to watch your shows, to make fans care, then fine. Don't expect this to make fans like Roman Reigns. If it's just something to do to make fans want to pay their money to go to TLC to entertain the audience, I'm cool with that. That's great. Because when I think about that four-on-three TLC match, that's going to be crazy. Cesaro, Sheamus, Miz, and Braun Strowman versus The Shield in a four-on-three TLC match. That's a hell of a main event. I can't hate on that at all. I just think as time goes by, and I'm looking back on 2017, I'm not going to remember the Shield reunion. I remember that it happened, but I'm not going to go, oh my god, that was amazing. Because it was, it was alright. I liked it. I liked it. But I didn't lose my mind over it. It didn't get ingrained in my head as a moment in time. If you know what I mean. But, that's just my thoughts. How did you feel about the Shield reunion? Did you love it? Did you think it was a moment in time? Uh, how are you feeling about the main event at TLC? 4 on 3 TLC. Uh, I, hope, I hope they have a good match. I hope this does good things for WWE. Despite my uh, jaded 20 year wrestling fandom behind not really getting exactly what I wanted. Maybe you guys got what you wanted, and ultimately that's what matters. But thank you guys for watching. That's my thoughts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys next time, right here, in your Boy the X-Men's world. Peace out.